Hello gang and welcome back. In this one, we want to fix this problem right here, right? So let's go back and in your Python file, let's first make sure we are actually recording our purchases correctly. So in between our tabs here, we want to insert PQTY, okay? This is the variable we are going to create in a second. So just say X like that. And up here where we created our variables, let's just say PQTY, PQTY, and make it one, all right? Actually make it a string of one. Control S to save this. Let's run it. And one, two, three, four, hit enter. And this is what I was looking for, all right? So now that that is fixed, we can go ahead and start the tutorial for today. So go up here and import the RE module because we'll be using regular expressions for this one. All right. Now I need you to go up here in your init and create two lists. The first one is going to be self.cut, which is going to be an empty list. Self.cut is going to contain all of the products that you've essentially add it to your cards all right and then the next one is going to be self dot quantity and again empty list self dot qty is going to contain all of the quantities of the products you have added to your cards now you can simply go down here and let's start working so the first thing we are going to do is let's first take this okay Cut it and put it up with the rest of our variables. Like that. All right. Now, the first thing we are going to do is check if the product has already been added to our cart. All right. So, let's simply say for and index C in. And now we have a problem. The problem is. We have overridden code here, all right? So let's change that real quick. Change this to P code. Change this to P code and that to P code, all right? Control S to save. Now we can go down here and say in enumerate. And we want to enumerate self.cut, okay? And with that, we simply want to say if C is equal to our product code okay so basically if we have the code already in our cut we want to let's create a new variable called target p target and we are going to set it equal to the index of that code all right now let's go up here and simply initialize p target to minus one all right now that is done what we want to do now is say if p target is greater than or equal to zero. So if we did find the code, what we want to do is say, let's create a few variables. All right. The first variable is going to be expr, which is going to be the expression for our regular expressions. The first thing we are looking for is the product name. We are going to place it in here. All right. And then simply copy this, paste it in here, like that. And we are looking for, after the X, we are looking for anything as long as it is a number. All right. And then finally, the, this slash T. Okay. And let's also add the product name. So simple enough, P name, like that. And let's create a replacement expression. And it's simply going to be basically this text pasted in here and the slash T of course. Now that's done. What we want to do now is say new underscore text is going to be equal to re dot sub. And we want to substitute, get this pattern, all right? substitute with our replacement pattern substitute it from previous text like that all right simple enough now we can simply say preview 
dot text is equal to our new text okay and if we didn't find anything in our in our cut we simply want to do what we were doing before but now we also want to say self dot cut and simply append we want to append the product code okay so append that code and also self dot quantity dot append and we simply want to append one because we just added one all right and with that said we also want to take care of this pqty so we're simply going to say pq p sorry pqty and pqty is going to be self dot quantity where p target is all right so p target plus one all right because we just added one okay and after that is done we want to say self dot quantity and where p target is again and we are going to set it equal to pqty Control S to save this. Let's try it. Okay, let's first change this to a string. All right, so copy this and change this to a string. Control S to save this. Run it now. And let's one, two, three, four. Hit enter. Run it again. And now we have two. All right. So this is working quite well. Run it again. We have three. Okay, great. So now that that is done, let's test it with another product. So let's add another product here. And we're simply going to say if P code is equal to, and let's say two, three, four, five. All right. Now let's also change the product name. So P name is equal to that. And just simply say if p code is equal to two, three, four, five. Let's change the name. So p name is equal to product, and it's going to be product two. Control S to save this. Let's run it again. All right, and one, two, three, four. Hit enter. Hit enter again and now we have three products let's change this to two three four five hit enter and it's working again it's working great all right so now we have that but the total disappeared so we're going to stop here for this one in the next one we are going to fix the total and hopefully wrap up this preview all right Thanks for watching. Thanks for the subscriptions. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.